Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at recovering a pattern from a document in Photoshop. If you delete a pattern either because you've reset your preferences or you accidentally deleted a pattern, if you have that pattern in use in the file either as the fill for a shape or a fill for a layer then you can potentially get that pattern back. Let's have a look and see how this works. I'm going to create a brand new document. It doesn't matter how big my document is. I'm just going to create one that is a thousand by a thousand pixels. I'm going to drop into it a pattern fill. So I'm going to use layer, new fill layer and then pattern. This is a good reason for using this pattern fill option because this will allow you not only to change your patterns more easily but you can also potentially get back a pattern if you lose it. So I've just added a white filled layer behind this. This is a pattern filled layer and the pattern we're using is a diagonal stripe. Let's turn that off. Let's go and fill a shape with a pattern. So I'm just dragging out a circular shape here. I'm going to fill it with a pattern. So I'm going to click here on the fill. I'll go across to select pattern. I'll locate a different pattern this time. I'm going to do it with the black stripes. It's going to be able to be a little bit easier for us to recognize what's happening in a minute. So I've just enlarged that pattern 200%. So what we've got is inside our document we have a filled layer, a layer that's filled using a pattern fill and we've got a shape that is filled with a pattern fill. I'm just going to save that. I'm calling it pattern test. We'll save it and we'll close it. I'm going to create a brand new document just because I need to get into my file. I'm going to delete those patterns. This is different in Photoshop CS 2020. So I'm going to window and then patterns. In earlier versions of Photoshop you can do it from the preset manager. I'm just going to right click here and delete these two patterns so they no longer exist inside Photoshop. Not a good idea to do that ever if you haven't backed up your patterns. In earlier versions of Photoshop you would find that by choosing edit and then presets preset manager and you'll go in here drop this down it will have patterns on it you'll see all your patterns you can click on a pattern and delete it. Okay not recommended. Okay, let's just close this down. Now, what we want to do is to go and get our patterns back. We can test to make sure that the patterns no longer exist just with a brand new document. Go to layer, new fill layer, go to pattern. The most recent pattern in the pattern dialog will be here. When we open it up, you can see the red and the black stripe patterns are not there. Okay, so we've proved that we've damaged our pattern collection and we no longer have those patterns. Well what we're going to do is open up the test file. Even when we open it up if we go to the patterns dialog in this case in Photoshop CC 2020 it's window and patterns you can see these patterns no longer exist. We have lost those patterns. Let's go first of all to this pattern fill layer. I'm going to double click to open this up. I'm going to click the fly down menu. Again, pattern's not there. We'll click this fly out menu here and choose new pattern. And what happens is that the red stripe pattern from this pattern fill is now being resaved as a pattern. So it's now a pattern. It's inside Photoshop. It will be there when we close and reopen Photoshop. Of course, if we had lost this pattern for reasons of our own carelessness or resetting our preferences, the first thing we'll want to do is back this thing up. But that's fine. Not a problem. Now let's have a look at the filled shape. So in this case we're going to double click on the layer thumbnail. It just opens up the pattern fill dialog exactly the same way as opening up the pattern fill dialog for a filled layer. Click the down pointing arrow here, click here, click new pattern and here our black and white stripes or our black and transparent stripes are now being offered as a pattern that we can get to in Photoshop. Now we don't even have to save this. Let me just go OK for that. Let me close that. No saving. Create new. And we'll just prove that inside our pattern dialog are these two patterns that we were now able to recover from being in use in another document. So there's our red stripe pattern. Here's our black stripe pattern. So if you ever lose a pattern for whatever reason in Photoshop, if you've got a document where it's in use inside a shape or inside a fill layer, then you can potentially extract that pattern, get it back in Photoshop. I hope this video has been of help to you. 
Before we finish up, I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer. Typically, mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.